Everybody loves a princess seam. Welcome to Make It So, the beginner series by SureFit Designs. I'm Glenda, sometimes referred to as Glenda the Good Stitch. In the last couple of videos, I showed you how to sew straight seams, and then I showed you how to sew a curved seam. But when it comes to a princess line, we have a curved seam going into a relatively straight seam. I'm wearing a princess line blouse that's got the seaming over the bust line. And if we take a look at the mannequins, you can see the princess line coming down through the shoulder, over the bust line, down to the hemline, and the same thing on the reversible vest. Well, as I said, everybody loves a princess line, and that's typically because they look so flattering on your body. But how do you sew this somewhat curved seam into this straighter seam? And that's the focus of this particular uh, video. And these notches right here, those are our matching notches. So it's this section right in here that can become a bit of a problem child. So what I'm going to recommend is that you put in what is called stay stitching between these two notches on the straight line because then I'm going to clip into the stay stitching and I'm going to open it up just a little bit. And again, as a beginner seamstress, if you're more comfortable, have a, a piece of masking tape right on your sewing machine at the 5 8 inch stitching line. So now I'm going to take, this is the center front piece, by the way, and this is the side piece. You can tell that by the armhole. So I'm going to take the straight seam, and that's the one that I need to open up. And right at the notch is where I'm going to start a line of stay stitching. Now, stay stitching means to stay the fabric, to hold it in place, but it can also act as a guideline for where I'm going to do my clipping. So I'm going to start this at the notch, and I want to be a hair inside that 5 8 inch marking because I don't want this stitching to show when I'm all said and done. So I'm just going to lower the presser foot down. I inserted the needle and I'm not going to back stitch here. So now let's just sew and it's a straight stitch on regular stitch length and I'm not quite at that 5 8 inch marking and I don't want to be. I want to do this stay stitching so that I can clip up to the stay stitching. And I will stop at the notch. And let me clip these long ends away there. All right, so now I'm going to clip to the stitching. And I did show you how to clip in the lesson on curved seams and that's all I'm doing right here is I'm clipping up to the stitching but not through the stitching and I'm not doing any cutting or grading or trimming of that seam allowance I need that whole thing there so there we've got it and I'm then going to take it and match the cut edges together and I'm going to start with these notches like this and I'm going to put the cut edges of the uh, seam allowance together. And as I match this notch, you can see how this just is starting to open up. And that's exactly what you want to have happen. And let me match it up at the, at the neckline, or at the shoulder line, I should say. And then I'll put a couple of pins in down here as well, going into the waistline and the hem level. Now you're going to work this area. Start about in the center and pull it up, and you can see how those clips are just starting to open up. It doesn't take very much in order for it to match the curve on the other side. The more dominant your curve, the more these little clips are going to open up. If you were doing a, an arm side princess line, you would see that the, you would, this would be opening up a lot because usually it's a lot curvier. So I've got more pins in that location. I now will start down at the hemline. And now I want to sew exactly on the 5 8 inch marking. 
and you can backstitch if you want to. If it were a real blouse, I would certainly be doing that, not just this sample. Make sure that you keep your seam allowances, your cut edges together. Don't force this through the uh, feed of the machine. Let the feed dog just naturally take that fabric right through. Get those cut edges together. And now I'm coming up to my first pin, so I am going to release that. And my stitching is just going to be on the outside of that line that I previously stitched. That means that my stay stitching will not show when I turn this right sides out. And you can see that this is the three-dimensional form from that curvature, and that's exactly what it should be looking like. And of course, I'm using a contrasting color of thread so that you can see exactly what I'm doing here. Whoops, I'm getting a little bit of a tiny tuck there. So I'm going to set my needle in place and I'm going to release that tuck just with my fingers because you don't want any puckers whatsoever. And I'm keeping it right on the edge. My cut edges are right on the edge of my masking tape and that's a really, really good guideline for you as a beginner seamstress. And I'll take out that pin and then I'll sew up to the shoulder line. And there I can go a little bit faster. And I can backstitch that. All right. And again, you're seeing the rippling there, and that's because of the fullness of the curvature. But when this gets opened up and pressed, that's now going to form that beautiful shape for your bust line in that princess line. And for pressing this, it just depends how you want to finish off this seam as to whether you open the seam up or whether you sew it and push it all to one side and press it all to one side. But you do want to meld the thread into the fabric first, just as I'm doing. Be really careful here in the curvature that you're not putting any creases in on that curve. And then I'll come down further like this. And of course, you then want to decide if you're going to open up the seam allowance and have the seam allowances pressed one to either side, or as I've done in the uh, blouse that I'm wearing, I've pressed them all to one side and then I cover stitched on top in order to make that decorative line of machine stitching. But for right now, what I'm going to do is take the tailor's ham and, again, the tailor's ham is really going to be your best friend when it comes to curves. So I'm pressing both the seam allowances towards the center in this case, like this. But again, it's your choice how you want to finish off. And I did talk about seam allowance finishes in one of the previous videos on uh, sewing a straight seam. And any of those techniques would definitely be suitable for the inside of your princess line seam. All right, and there we have, I've got a piece of thread there that's coming, that's for my stay stitching actually. Let me just clip that off so it's not in your line of vision. There's another one right down here. If I can grab it, I'll get it and just get it away from there. All right, so there we have a perfect curvature formed for the princess line and of course suited to your particular bust circumference. And that's how easy it is to sew a curved line to a straight line. I hope you've been enjoying the videos in this Make It So Beginners series. And if you have, I would really encourage you to join our SureFit Designs community if you haven't done so already. You can do that in three easy steps. Number one, make sure you go over to surefitdesigns.com and sign up for our newsletter. And when you do, there'll be all kinds of free gifts to get you started. 
Secondly, you're likely in YouTube watching this right now. Please make sure that you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's SureFit Designs, and the buttons are below in order to do that. And the third thing is, make sure that you join our SureFit Designs community in Facebook. We have a great active group right now. And seamstresses from all over the world are getting together, sharing their projects, asking questions, supporting one another, and in general, having lots and lots of fun with SureFit Designs. I certainly do invite you to join us.